So hello, Unida. Thank you for participating uh, in the short interview. I will just start with the first question. Um, how was your experience as an e-tutor in an international VCL? Please describe what was new for you and what you've learned. Okay, so I had the previous experience with the VCL and it was locally organized in our university, Epoca University in Tirana. And we had some trainings um, for like four weeks or more for this VCL and then it was applied in our university. And uh, the difference was that uh, in this international VCL there were there was combination of students between uh, different countries and different universities, so it was more broad. And I felt more responsibility because uh, you had to engage with students from other universities who have probably different education systems. Yes. And that's why it was more, of, it had the feelings of more responsibility. Uh, you had to be more engaged, more comprehensive of uh, everything going around. But to me, it was more enjoyable because it followed the training we did in uh, Dresden, like summer. Mm -hmm event and that I really enjoyed and um, yeah it really showed me about the cultural inter exchange and it was really nice to work with foreign students I feel uh, I don't want to put down Albanian students because they are also hardworking but foreign students I feel they have um, they are more strict and uh, more systematic in their work so it is beneficial to both sides yeah, very, very nice. Um, how did the qualification as an e-tutor help you during the international pilot VCL? Well, from the first uh, VCL, it helped me because I know how to monitor the students. Uh, I know what uh, what data to look into and uh, the, uh, how to track their activity. So I had kind of experience before. And uh, also it taught me because in the previous VCL there were upcoming conflicts from groups. There always there are conflicts in groups where someone doesn't do their work and the, the other one is doing too much. So um, and this also happens in this international VCL, but I was sort of pre prepared about it because I had encountered it also in the other VCL. So. Uh, and we were trained how to deal in these sorts of conflicts so and how to approach to them. And it, it was some uh, somehow repeated scenario that always yeah. happens in yeah. projects. And yeah. you have to deal with those. Yeah. <laughs> um, concerning virtual mobility and internationalization at home, like in the uh, International Pilot PCL, uh, what are your thoughts and feelings about these concepts for the future in the Albanian higher education sector? Uh, you mean virtual mobility learning for uh, focused in Albania only yeah. or international? Yeah, in the Albanian higher education um, area. Um, yeah, I highly support it because um, I think the virtual mobility and uh, virtual learning really enhances the process of learning overall because uh, sometimes we come up with justifications or excuses not to meet and not to work in a group work but if you are virtual it means that you can meet everywhere so mm -hmm. it's an excuse that is uh, uh, gone excluded and then it means working from the comfort of your home yeah. And also, uh, one thing that I like about virtual learning is that you can share materials and documents. So whenever you have something to discuss, everyone can see the document that you are referring to, or you can work in the same document. All people can work in a similar document and they, you can track the changes that one person has done and the other. So it is quite helpful to track your progress of the project. And I think you take it more seriously when yeah. you see step by step what you have put into. So I will, would, re would really encourage it um, to be a combination of both. Uh, I mean, learning in person in universities and also uh, virtual learning for the projects and homeworks that are left uh, outside university. Yeah, yeah, very nice. 
Um, what are your personal and educational wins uh, through the participation in the ValueX project as an e-tutor? As an e-tutor, I think uh, it helped me to deal with uh, group managing <laughs> because um, I was not myself involved in the group project, so I was not a member to contribute in the project. So it was not really stressful for me. I just had the role to monitor everyone and to support them in yeah. case they had any difficulties. So, um, yeah, it helped me in uh, being more organized. So, and uh, also when, whenever I had to keep notes for the group progress, I had um, something specific or, um, how can I say, there was a, um, a set of uh, qualities that I had to mark or a set, uh, so we had to mark, for example, the feedback of the group, how many, how many of them are engaged, how many are not. Yeah. How many replies does a post from a group member receive? So there were some specifications that we had to keep notes and this made me feel more structured and more organized in the work that I did. We had all the guidelines from Matis and Professor Schuch, so mm -hmm. everything was really organized and I really liked that. There were guidelines for everything, so you just had to put in the effort. Everything else was pretty, pretty structured. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And uh, finally, do you have any final remarks you would like to say? Um, final remarks? Yeah, I mean, also the collaboration was really nice because we had a head of e-tutor uh, and also Matis was very helpful for any question or inquiry that we might have had. And um, um, yeah, we kept note of everything. One thing that I would like, um, how can I say, maybe for the uh, final observation sheet, because we had also to complete that. Um, I think I could uh, like more guideline on that. Yeah. Because, uh, sometimes they can uh, things can be really subjective, and you don't don't really know how to evaluate something. And um, yeah, regarding that, that's the difficult part because you have to give some evaluations, but uh, sometimes you don't really know the exact and correct thing because it is also the matter of perspective or how, and I don't want to put down any student's work or uh, harm their grade. Uh, that is why this was the obstacle that I had mostly, but everything else was uh, pretty nice. Okay, thank you very much and thank you for the short interview.